let us understand about proportions okay let us say you have four numbers a b c and d okay and someone asks you to find out is a b c d proportional now a set of four numbers is said to be in proportion when the ratio of a is to b is equal to the ratio of c is to d right we write this basically as a is to b is proportional to c is to d right in such a case basically the number a and d are known as extremes okay and b and c are known as means right let's take an example here let's say you have 7 14 19 and 38 right now when do we say that these four are proportional we say these four are proportional if the ratio of a is to b so 7 is to 14 is equal to 19 is to 38 right or we write this as 7 upon 14 is equal to 19 upon 38 so we divide the left hand side okay by 7 both the numerator and the denominator so 7 divided by 7 gives us 1 14 divided by 7 gives us 2 similarly we divide the right hand side the numerator and the denominator by 19 19 divided by 19 gives us 1 38 divided by 19 gives us 2 so on both the sides we've reached 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 hence we say that these four numbers are proportional right let's look at property number two of proportion if these four numbers are proportional one of the other quality that is there is that the product of their extremes would be equal to the product of their means okay what are the extremes a into d a into d is equal to b into c right so can we verify this let us apply this to this particular case here so what's the value of a here 7 what's the value of d 38 is equal to 14 into 19 c is 19 so if these numbers are proportional then a into d should be equal to b into c now let's multiply 7 times 8 gives us 56 we have 5 carry over 7 times 3 gives me 21 plus 5 26 14 times 9 is equal to 90 plus 36 which is 126 6 12 carry 14 times 1 is 14 plus 12 is 26 again we have once again proved that left hand side is equal to the right hand side hence our equation that the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means holds true right so these were basically two properties that we saw for proportion okay let's see one question over here show that the number 12 36 17 50 are not in proportion let's use this particular formula so if these number are in proportion 
what will happen? The product of the extremes. What are the extremes? A and D. If these numbers are proportional, then A into D should be equal to B into C. We have B here and we have C here. So 12 into 50 is should be equal to 36 into 17. Right? Now 12 into 50 gives you what? 600. 36 into 17 will give you what? 17 times 6 is 102. 2, 10 carry. 17 times 3 is 51 plus 10. 61. But we know that 600 is not equal to 612. Hence, we can safely assume that these numbers are not in proportion. Because if they were in proportion, then A cross D, or in other words, the product of the two extremes, should be equal to the product of the means, which is not the case over here.